Hello and welcome to This Date in History, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information comes from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? Historical calendar. And the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else potentially interesting that we gather throughout the show, check the underbar description, whatever you call it, down below. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander. I'm me. And today is Woden's Day, also known as Odin's Day, also known as Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. Uh, who goes first today? I'll do it. All right. I don't know why it's all the way down at death. <laughs> 332, Emperor Constantine the Great announces the free distribution of food to the citizens in Constantinople. Oh, good. We need Amazing. food. 872, Louis II of Italy is crowned for the second time as Holy Roman Emperor at Rome at the age of 47. His first coronation was 28 years earlier in 844 during the reign of his father, Lord Hare the I. Interesting. Oh, well, this guy got crowned twice. I wonder, how many people got crowned twice? How many rulers were crowned twice? Uh, the top ten monarchs who reigned twice. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm laughing that you have a president. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Um, wow, the top ten monarchs who reigned twice, but it's not telling me anything. Oh, I have to register. Okay, well, screw you, independent. I guess we're not going to find Kind of horrible. Out. Yeah. Um, uh, what happened in 1096? Uh, that's the question. What happened in 1096? What happened in 1096? Uh, the end of 1095. I'm joking. <laughs> 1095, the first crusade around 800 Jews are massacred in Worms, Germany. Dang. I think I'm German. That was Germans. Moving on up into 1152, the future of Henry II of England married Eleanor of Aquitaine. Or, uh, Aquitaine. He would become king two years later after the death of his cousin, once removed uh, King Stephen of England. Um, God damn, once removed. Yeah. I, I never, I never knew what like that means. Like you know, what's a what's a cousin removed? You know. You want know, uh, um, that up? I'm guessing the divorce. Huh. What's a removed cousin? Um, to be once removed from a cousin means you are separated by one generation. Uh, the number before removed oh. will always represent the number of generations you are separated, removed from the cousin. Okay, so I guess that means like, well, whatever that means. I don't know why I can't comprehend what I just read. Um, but let's see here. What else happened in 1268? Uh, the Principality of Antioch, a crusader state, fell to the Momoloch Sultan Baibars in the Siege of Antioch. Ooh. And in 1291, the fall of Acre occurred. Uh, it was the end of crusader presence in the Holy Land. Dang. Those, those crusades, the first one was alright, the sequel was okay, and then everything just kind of went to hell in a handbasket. The sequel's always better. I don't know, man. I think, but uh... Was, but that was always a bad one. Hmm. Yeah. Um, your turn, right? Yes. 13... 2. Burgess Martin, the nocturnal massacre of the French garrison in Burgess, by members of the loyal Flemish militia. Dang. So do they like kill them at night or something? I'm guessing. Nocturnal massacre. During the battle of Boyer Lake, General Ligny 
uh, Lang Yu leads the Ming army forward to crush the Mongol hordes of Torgus Tiferes, the Khan of Northern Yan. Hmm, I wonder how that worked out. Yan. <laughs> Yan. In 1499, Alonso de Ojeda set sail from Cadiz on his voyage to what is now Venezuela. Hmm. 1565, the Great Siege of Malta began, in which Ottoman forces attempted to fail, uh, or they attempted and failed to conquer Malta. Uh, those silly Ottomans. And in 1593, playwright Thomas Kidd's accusations of heresy led to an arrest warrant for Christopher Marlowe. Hmm. Sounds like a, a bit of a rivalry going on right there. Yes. Also, 1631, in Dorchester, Massachusetts, John Winthrop takes the oath of office and becomes the first governor of Massachusetts. Nice. The spirit of America. <laughs> yep. Nineteen fifty-two, slavery in Rhode Island is, is abolished through the law. It is not which is rigorously enforced. Do you want to try that again? Slavery in Rhode Island is abolished, although the law is not rigorously enforced. Ah, good. Yeah, in sixteen fifty-two, three hundred seventy years ago. Dang. I think. So 1695, the 1695 Lampin earthquake in Phoenix Ming Dynasty causes extreme damage and kills at least 52,000 people. Jesus. That's still not nothing compared to that earthquake that was what? 300,000 or something? Like I think so. Yeah, it was it was like a, like around a third of a million people or of a yeah, of a million people. That's insane. Gonna take us up into 1756, which saw the Seven Years' War beginning when Great Britain declared war on France. Didn't we say that yesterday? Mm hmm. That's weird. 1783, the first United Empire loyalists reached Paratown, which was later called St. John in New Brunswick, which is in Canada, uh, after having left the United States. And then, uh, let's see here, 11 years later in 1794, the Battle of Torokoring during the Flanders Campaign of the War of the First Coalition occurred. Hmm. Here we go, Napoleonic Wars. Mm -hmm. These are yours. 18-3, Napoleonic Wars, the United Kingdom revoked the Treaty of Amin and declares war on France. 1804, Napoleon Bonaparte is proclaimed Emperor of the French by the French Senate. Yeah. And a little, uh, little known fact, at, at least as far as I'm aware of, um, he was uh, he was crowned Emperor in um, the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Why would I kept trying to say the Arc de Triomphe? No. No, he was uh, made Emperor in... Uh, Oh, why? Notre Dame. Why can't I remember? Wow. Yeah. And then in, 18, uh, in 1811? 1811, the Battle of Lars Piedras, the first great military triumph of the revolution of the Rio de la Plata in Uruguay by Jose Arguidas. Wow. Ah. 365 days later, in 1812, John Bellingham was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging for the assassination of British Prime Minister Spencer Percival. 1843, the, distrib um, the distribution, di di no, disruption, the disruption in Edinburgh of the Free Church of Scotland from the Church of Scotland. What? The distribution. Okay. No, it's the uh, disruption. Uh, and then in 1848, just five years later, the opening of the first German National Assembly occurred in Frankfurt, Germany, and uh, it was also called National or uh, National Versammlung. All right. Okay. 
1860? 1860, United States President election. Abraham Lincoln wins the Republican Party presidential nomination over William A. Seward. Wow, with a fucking name like that, I would lose. Yeah. Who later became the President of the United States. Oh, who becomes the Secretary of State. Yeah, United States, United States Secretary of State. Yeah. Well, at least he won something. Yeah. With a fucking name like that, I huh. cannot take no order from a man named Seward. Yeah, that's a little too close to uh, to Sewer, um, but pretty close to Couldn't Stewart too. To Stewart. So. Well, he's one letter off from being a steward, and you know stewards are hosts, so you know that could have been a good name change then. You have one more here in 1863. Oh, I got two more. Oh, I got two more. Oh yes, you do. 1863, American Civil War, the siege of Vicksburg begins. Mm. 18. No, I thought this finished in 1896. 1896, I mean, 1896, the Kurdar tragedy, a mass panic on Kiranika Field in Moscow during the festivities of the coronation of the Russian Tsar Nicholas II, resulting in the death of 1,389 people. Jeez. Holy shit. Also, in 1880, well, 1896, the United States Supreme Court rules Plessy versus Ferguson that the separation but equal doctrine is constitutional. Let me look what this is. Separate but equal. Separate of e but equal doctrine. Implementation of the separate but equal doctrine gave constitutional sanction to laws designed to achieve racial segregation by means of separate and equal public facilities and services for African Americans and whites. So, segregation. Essentially. Yeah. Jim Crow. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, well, it, that is not constitutional, but uh, it took a while for them to figure that out. I'm going to take us up into the next uh, century. In 1900, the United Kingdom proclaimed a protectorate over Tonga. Where is Tonga? Tonga, oh. Tonga, Tonga. Tonga. Uh, it's a country in Oceania. Uh, let's see here. Maps. Pacific Islands. Ah, I see. Uh, oh, they're over next to Fiji. I see. Oh, north, uh, just north and a little bit east of uh, New Zealand. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Mm. 1912, the first Indian film, Sri Pondalik by Dada Shaheb Torn, was released in Mumbai. Mumbai. And then in 1917, during World War I, the Selective Service Act of 1917 was passed, giving the President of the United States the power of conscription. And here's an interesting thing that I didn't uh, remember, but apparently the draft was still a thing when I was 18. And uh, my dad has been going through some old boxes and stuff, like we've been tidying up the house and whatnot, you know. And he found my uh, draft card when I was 18. I never was drafted, but I was registered. So, uh, and my mom was throwing a fit because that was uh, graduated in 05. So that was when we were still in Iraq and everything. So I could have been drafted to go over there. That's insane. Like, I thought the draft was gone, but nope. Apparently it wasn't until, like, 2007 or something. Under George W. Bush, by all people. Um, and then in 1926, uh, evangelists, or evangelists uh, Amy Semple McPherson disappeared in Venice, California. Well, that's alarming. So, and what happened uh, yeah. the next year after that? What year? 1927. 1927, after being found for 20 years, the na found it for 20 years, the national government approves Torgi University to be among the first national universities of the Republic of China. Mm. So 1939, the New Deal, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signs an act creating the Tennessee Valley Authority. Hey, hey, Tennessee, that's where I came from. Okay. Also, 1944, deportation of Jamera Tartars by Soviet Union. 
Crimean Tatars. What are Crimean Tatars? It sounds like a food. It sounds like a dessert or something. Uh, Crimean Tatars or Crimeans, AK, uh, or are Turkic ethnic group and uh, nation who are indigenous people of Crimea. All right. So they deported them. Also, in 1944, during the Second World War, the Battle of Monte Cassino saw the saw its conclusion after seven days of the Fourth Battle as German paratroopers evacuated Monte Cassino. Moving on up into 1953, Jackie Cochran became the first woman to break the sound barrier. Cool. Two years later, in 1955, Operation Passage of Freedom, uh, or Passage to Freedom, the evacuation of 310,000 Vietnamese civilians, soldiers, and non-Vietnamese members of the French Army from Communist North Vietnam to South Vietnam following the end of the First Indochina War ended. 1955, wow. So that was uh, about roughly 10 years, give or take, before we got involved in there. So. Yeah. Speaking of 10 years, here we go, just for you. Oh, 10. Okay, 1965, Israel spy Eli Cohen is hanged in Damascus, Syria. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know Damascus was in Syria. Huh. Yeah, Damascus. Yeah, isn't that like a biblical city? It is. It's one of the biblical cities like Acre, Damascus. All those areas in the Middle East. Yeah. Yep, it's one of the biblical cities. Also one of the cities he had uh, crusaders in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, four years later, uh, 1969, Apollo program, Apollo 10 is launched. Nice. In 1973, Aero flight, flight 109 is hijacked in mid-flight, and the aircraft is subsequently destroyed when a hijacker's bomb explodes, killing all 82 people on board. Dang. That sucks. One year later, in 1974, nuclear weapons testing under Project Smiling Buddha... Oh, did they have to use a name like that? Uh, India successfully detonated its first nuclear weapon, becoming the sixth nation to do so. Why did they have to name it after their god, who's smiling? Like, you're using one India. of the most destructive... India don't work with Buddha. That just seems like a, a disrespect to Buddha, man. You know? They worship cow... Uh, they worship... Hmm. Cows. They do. Uh, let's see here, 1977, uh, Likud Party won the 1977 Israeli legislative election with Menachem Begin, its founder, as the sixth prime minister of Israel. The liquor party. <laughs> the My kind of party. The, li the what party? Oh, the Likud the party. party. Liquor party. The liquor party. <laughs> mm, that sounds good. <laughs> well, uh, the, the inventor of, uh, of Scotch whiskey, or not Scotch whiskey, some kind of whiskey uh, is in either the birth or the destiny I don't remember which well, why don't you take us up to 1980 1980 students in Guyana, South Korea begin demonstrating for their democratic reforms good in 1990 in France a modded TGV train achieved a new rail world speed record of 515 KM was kilometers an hour, which uh, is 320.2 miles per hour. Nice. That's a fast train. It is a fast train. Also, 1991, Northern Somalia declares independence from the rest of Somalia as the Republic of Somaliland. I wonder if Somaliland still exists or not. I, I don't even feel like it would exist. Uh, you might kick back and realize, this is fucking retarded. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> uh, Somaliland does still exist. It is officially the Republic of Somaliland. It is a de facto state in the Horn of Africa, considered internationally to be part of Somalia. Somaliland lies in the Horn of Africa on the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden. Interesting. 
Did I add the Tataris into this? I don't think I did. No, I did not. Uh, let's see here. What else happened today? 1993, riots in Noribro, Copenhagen, caused by the approval of the four Danish exceptions in the Maastricht Treaty referendum, caused police to open fire against civilians for the first time since World War II and injured 11 demonstrators. That's awful. And I forgot whose turn it was. Is it still mine? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, one year later, 1994, Israeli troops finished withdrawing from the Gaza Strip, ceding the area to the Palestinian National Authority to govern, only to later take it again. Permanently. Hold on, I thought I added 2013. 2013? I thought I added 2013. Oh. 18. 2018? Oh. Yeah, that's okay. I ain't worried about it. Oh, uh, well, you can, you can add that in, you know, live. As in, read it when it's your turn. 2018. Yeah, it was a shooting in uh, Texas. Ah. Yeah, because some fucking student got rejected by some girl. He went and killed her and some other students. Uh, in 2000, sparked, 2018? Yeah. Ah, those darn incels. <coughs> well, I think it's your turn. And, um, 2005. 2005, second photo from the Hubble telescope confirms that Pluto has two additional moons, Nix and Hydra. Yeah, Hydra. <laughs> well, that's, that's, uh, that's a little concerning. Nix and Hydra, Nixon Hydra, Richard Nixon is a member of Hydra. Conspiracy theory, maybe? Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> 2006, the post Lectonia Adonia government movement that landmark bill curtailing the power of the monarchy and making Nepal a circular country. Hmm. Wow, was it a uh, square? <laughs> I get it. Circular. Yeah. It's just. Na a uh, 2000, <laughs> yeah, 2009, the lit are defeated by the Sri Lankan government in an almost 26 years of fighting between the two sides. What are, what is the LTTE? LTTE, let's see here. Uh, the, li uh, the Liberation Tigers of Tamal Elam. Uh, they were a militant separatist group fighting for an independent homeland for Hindu Tamils in northeastern Sri Lanka. The LTTE was founded in the early 1970s by Velupile Prabhakaran, who led the group until his death by Sri Lankan armed forces in May of 2009. Yeah, we speak about him in the desk today. That's right. Um, why don't you finish this? Actually, I'll take 2015. Uh, you tell us about the 2018 that you uh, had forgotten. And then you take 2019. Sound good? Okay. All right, 2015, yeah. at least 78 people died in a landslide caused by heavy rains in the Colombian town of Salgar. Dang. Okay. Uh, 2018, Dimitri Paragortius killed... I forgot how many people he killed, but one of them was a 16-year-old girl He uh, that rejected him. Uh... And many... What was his name? Oh, Demetrios? Yeah, Demetrios. Okay, Demetrios. Uh, the Santa Fe High School shooting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, accused of killing 10 people and injuring 3 others when he was just 17 years old. Yes. Dang. Uh, all, all because he kept on pestering this one girl to date him and she had enough and publicly rejected him. Dang. So he got a man, Wink got a, came to school and shot her and others. You know, I, I, I don't I don't know whose side to be on with this. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna side with a murderer, but at the same time, you know, today's society it is just it's just not good any way you look at it. Okay. 
the first three, yeah, I'm, I'm like, if you're being rejected the first three times, I'm sorry, just move on. Yeah. Yeah, but why was he being rejected? You know, that's the other, you know, that's the other thing. Anyway, before I start I getting into uh, blame games and stuff, why don't you close us off here with 2019? Sure. 2019, United States President election, Joe Biden announced his run for presidency. So you forget a school shooting, but you put this in. <laughs> uh, any uh, articles grab your attention more than any others today? Yeah. The lit. Uh, also, Israeli troops. Mm -hmm. Israeli troops finishing withdrawing from the Gaza Strip. Yeah. Being in an area to the Palestinian National Authority. For me, like, uh, Smiling Buddha, you know, Project Smiling Buddha, that's, it still disturbs me that they chose that uh, to name for a nuclear test, but, um, and, uh, Jackie Cochran, you know, the first woman to break the sound barrier, that's pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. There's that a lot awesome. of, yeah, there's a lot of cool ones, like, uh, the, uh, the train record in France, you know? Uh, it's amazing. Jumping on into bursts, um, I'm going to start us off with bursts today. In the year 1048, we have Omar Khayyam, was a Persian mathematician, astronomer, and poet, died in 1131. In the year 1692, we have O.S. Joseph Butler, was an English bishop, theologian, and apologist, died in 1752. Now, O.S. is old style, pertaining to the old style versus new style of dates. And I have instructed... Uh, to look it up here, because I have never heard of this. This is new to me. Old style versus new style dates. Old style and new style indicate dating systems before and after a calendar change, respectively. Usually this is a change from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, as enacted in various European countries between 1582 and the 20th century. I'm going to add a link to that wiki in the underbar. Uh, but essentially, what OS means is that According to the old style, the Julian calendar, which we use the Gregorian calendar for most of the world today, this is his birth date. Um, so, okay, I'm just I'm just trying to wrap my mind around, because no matter what, you you can't change the date of somebody's birth. That's their birth date. So I'm just calendars are weird, man. Uh, so you can you. Do some nasty in the pasty. <laughs> like Fry. 1711, we have Roger Joseph Bosovich. Uh, he was a Ragusian physicist, astronomer, and mathematician who died in 1787. But what is a Ragusianist? Or a Ragusian? Let me look that up. Is it like a. Is he made of pasta? Is he the pasta man? Um, the Ragu man. The Republic of Ragusia. Uh, was an uh, aristocratic maritime republic centered on the city of Dubrovnik in Dalmatia that carried that name from 1358 until 1808. So I wonder if it's... Uh, oh, it was dissolved in January 31st of 1808. Interesting. Um, oh, there, it's over by the Adriatic Sea. All right. Uh, I think it's your turn now. Yes, 1777, John George Children, English, chemist, mariologist, and zoologist. Damn, those kids did all that. Dang. Smart kids. 1851, Simon Carroquados, Paulo Watonmi, political activist. Yeah, that sounds like a Native American to me. It does. Also, 18... 67 Miyakata Konagisu Japanese author, biologist, naturalist, and etrologist. Yep. 1883, we have Rol uh, Walter Gropius, was a German American architect who designed the John F. Kennedy Federal Building. He died in 1969. What does this building look like? Let's uh, check this out here. Images. All right. 
It looks like a boring old building with two offset towers. I guess there's only so much you can do with certain architecture in certain times. But nonetheless, it's interesting looking. Who else was born today? 1914, we have Pierre Balmain, was a French fashion designer who founded Balmain. Died in 1982. And 1920, Pope John Paul II, we all know what he was, and he died in 2005. 1990, I mean, 1924, Priscilla Pointer, U.S. actress. I wonder if she uh, always pointed at people. 1927, Richard Body, English politician. Died 2018. Looks like he got bodied in 2018. <laughs> he got bodied in 2000. Oh my god. 2033, uh, I mean, 1933, H.D. Dia Goldaya. Indian farmer and politician who was the eleventh prime minister of India. Their full name being uh, Hara Donahali Dode Gauda Deve Gauda. So it's not a uh, high definition. No, not not in high okay. definition. Nineteen forty four. We have Albert Hammond. Hammond, English singer, songwriter, guitarist, and producer. 1944, we have W.G. Siebald was born on the States. He was a German novelist, essayist, and poet, dying in 2001. His full name being Winfred George Siebald. And we have 1946, Reggie Jackson is a or was a U.S. baseball player and sportscaster, but he's still alive. So kicking it. 1952, David Leakey, English general and politician. 1952, George Strait, U.S. singer, guitarist, and producer. 1952, Jenna Yeager, U.S. pilot. He's a Yeager pilot? We live yeah. in Pacific Rim? Oh God, I'm right on the Pacific Rim. <laughs> now the ocean sounds like a toilet. 1955, Chow Yun-Fat. He, he does what? Uh, he was a Hong Kong actor and screenwriter. In, in those may shit like uh, Stranglehold, the pop <laughs> thriller, the uh, John Woo movie. Ah. 1958, Toya Wilcox, English singer, songwriter, producer, and actress. 1967, Nancy Juvonen is a U.S. screenwriter, producer, who co-founded Flower Films. Perfect. You get uh, the last three here. 1969, Mark Katita, U.S. singer, songwriter, producer, and actress. Now, is that a real name? Let me look that up real quick. Sorry to interrupt, but whenever I see, like, one names or something, uh, it is not. Uh, Marta Marrero, a.k.a. Martica. All right. Uh, go ahead. Sorry about that. 1970. Tina Fey, U.S. actress, producer, and screenwriter. 1979, Dan Bernstein, Swiss video game designer who co designed Minecraft. <coughs> cool. Minecraft, yeah. yeah I, know, I don't want to insult Minecraft because it's good. <laughs> I mean, like. Yeah, it's good, but the fact that it's owned by Microsoft, I just have to hate it on principle. You know, I'm sorry, like, same reason why I don't like Star Wars, same reason why, you know, I, I don't like a lot of things that I do want to like, but I, I just can't support the host companies. I just can't. So. Um, anyway, uh, why don't you start us off with deaths here? 1952, Pope John the First. Hold on, 1952? How, well, how do you even get that out of that? I don't know. So, I'm just going to be caring sometimes. 526, Pope John II. Well, please care, dude. This is supposed to be historically accurate stuff. So, I do want some professionalism on the show, if you don't mind. Please and thank you. Anyway, go ahead. 893. Stephen, uh, Stephen I of Constantinople. 1096, Myrna of Worms, Jewish person who was killed during the Worms Massacre. 
Okay. Doing a significant time jump into 1297, we have Nicholas Longzipi, was a bishop of Salary, or uh, Salisbury, <laughs> Salary, Bishop of Salisbury, birth was unknown. Did uh, even more of a time jump into 1721, Maria Barbara Carrillo was a victim of the Spanish Inquisition, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, she was born in 1625. And then 60 years later on the dot, 1781, Tupac Amaru II, a Peruvian Indian rebel leader. And, uh, yeah, that's right. This guy looks just like the Quaker Oats guy, except uh, a little darker. Actually, no, he doesn't. What the heck? Well, the first picture, he certainly doesn't. But this next picture, he does. That's weird. He's either a Native American or a pilgrim. Huh. Uh, who was who died today in eighteen oh hundred? Yeah, eighteen oh eight. Eighteen oh eight. Elijah Craig, American minister, inventor, and educator, who invented bourbon whiskey. There's that whiskey guy. Yeah. Yeah. Think... It won't be. It's not. It's not the same as the Jack Daniels person who died because he kicked his fucking face. Wait, what? Yeah, the inventor of uh Jack Daniels. You to test his own product, got drunk, forgot the rest of, well, forgot his uh, combination, decided to kick his own safe. His foot got infected and he eventually died from that infection. Oh, wait, is that when he, like, kicked himself in the tooth and he got an infection from his mouth or something? No, he kicked the safe. Oh, he kicked the safe? I thought, I kept on thinking you were saying he kicked himself in the face. No, he wow. kicked the safe. Wow, still, that's a, that's a horrible way to go. Yeah, his last verse was number seven is the best. That's why he has number seven on it. Dang. On the bottle. Huh. Also, uh... 74? Uh, 1974, Richard Rodrigo Ricardo, English hmm. engine designer and researcher. Oh, okay. His name wasn't Richard. Harry Ricardo. Yeah. He, he's not the husband to uh, Lucy. So. No, that's Dassey Arnaz and Ricky Ricardo. Well, a.k.a. Well, Ricky Ricardo, a.k.a. Yeah. You know, Dassey yeah. Arnaz. 1980, we have uh, Mount St. Helens victims. Um, I'm surprised. Like, uh, d did we not cover... When, when was Mount St. Helens? Now, now, now I'm confused. Oh. I don't think we ever covered Mount St. Helens Volcano. Mount St. Helens, uh, eruption. In 1980, right? Yeah, 1980. Uh, March 27th, 1980. Okay. Something's I don't not... Think we ever did. Oh, wait, January, February, March, April, May. Oh, wait, this makes no sense. Oh no! Okay, so yeah, like uh, it was. Oh wait, uh, a major explosive eruption took place on May eighteenth, nineteen eighty, at eight thirty-two a.m. Okay, so that is the eruption that I'm thinking of, like with a series of photographs. But why didn't we talk about that in the main body today? I don't know. Was it not? Did your source not cover that? Because, like, that's a major event. I know. That's weird that it wouldn't cover that, but it would cover the victims. Anyway, the victims here, we have Ray Blackburn, who was a U.S. photographer and journalist who was born in 1952. And then we have David A. Johnston, a U.S. volcanologist and geologist who was born in 1949. And I remember that, yeah, there were two people. There was a volcanologist who was a little too close, and uh, the photographer was a little too close as well, but he... His camera was recovered uh, post-mortem, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. Moving on up into 2009, we have Wayne Allwine, who was a U.S. voice actor, sound effects editor, and Foley artist who was born in 1947. And Foley artistry is uh, grossly like understaffed. There's not a lot of those people. And sound designers, too. Like, you know, everybody's into acting. Everybody's into screenwriting, into producing, into more of the glamorous jobs. But... For the most part, like, you know, the Foley artists and everything, like, there's only, what, a dozen of them worldwide? 
Like, there's not a lot of them, so... We lost a great thing in 2009. And then, um... Also in 2009, we also lost, uh... Velu Pelai Prab Kanharan. He was a Sri Lankan rebel leader who founded the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam, who was born in 1954. There was that guy we spoke about earlier. And why don't you take, um... Why don't you take the last four here? Yeah. 2012... And uh, Alan Oakley, the English bicycle designer who designed the Riley Chopper. 2014, Deborah Kosick, Serbian politician who was the first president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Ah. 2014, Chuck Windu Nolokolo, Nigerian physician and academic. 2019, Austin Yearbank. U.S. addiction recovery advocate who also was a colorblind student survivor. Dang. Could, could you imagine going through something like that and then, you know, that's that's intense. I'm looking up at the Relay's Chopper and that looks pretty cool. It's an interesting bicycle. Just, uh, just hope that uh, the tire doesn't rub on your gear right there. Anyway... That concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar in the description, whatever you want to call it, for links that you may be interested in, which also includes... Shogun TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day. We are going to start streaming at 3 p.m. Pacific time, specifically, due to uh, a bunch of scheduling confusions, mix-ups, and whatnot. We're just, we're just going to do it at 3 Pacific time, flat out, boom, until future notice. Uh, what's that time in your neck of the woods there, Sohan? 5 Central. Alright. For all of you and all of us, I am A.O. Xander. I'm me. And you are you. And until you see us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon.